On this video, I will show you how to install our theme and also set up demo content. So, this is new fresh WordPress website. You can see Hello World article here. And then, this is your dashboard. Okay. When you purchase our theme, you can download the files and then you can extract this file and then you will see this folder you can open it you can see this is the structure of our files so this is the license this is the documentation where you can find the pdf file of documentation and then this is parent theme this is child theme the dummy data and recommended plugins as you can see revolution slider here so first let's go to the parent theme so this is the parent theme let's install this one i will go to appearance themes okay and i will click install themes now and then i will choose upload Okay, so let's upload this file. Click install now. Okay, same install successfully, but now I will not activate this one. I will return to the same page and then I will click install themes again. Why? Because I want to install the child theme, not the parent theme. If you are not familiar with child theme concept, basically child theme will need parent theme to run. But you can do everything on child theme, customization and everything on the child theme. It means the parent theme remains untouched so when we update our theme you simply override the parent theme and your customization is safe on child theme so let's upload this one okay i will upload this one click install now okay you can activate this theme but let's go to returns to themes page okay so you will see two theme here the first one is the parent theme prima shop and the second one is my prima shop it is your ch child theme you can change the name of this theme and also put your name and your url here you can we can do it later but now let's activate this one okay now you go to the theme settings page and our theme is already activated so let's try to refresh your website and this is your website okay it still looks empty because you have no content here okay so you can see that we have a notification here this theme required the following plugin which is woocommerce so let's go to the plugin settings it is a nice place where you can see some of recommended and required plugins for this theme we will add more recommended plugins later so we need to focus on the required plugins you can see this one i will click install to install woocommerce plugin okay the plugins is activated successfully i will go to the returns to the plugin installer and now you will see a big notification here welcome to WooCommerce. you are almost ready to start selling 
Now I will click install WooCommerce pages. So after installing WooCommerce, now you will see WooCommerce products menu. But let's go to the pages. You will see that WooCommerce add many pages here to work properly. Okay, let's go to the next tab. I will go to the settings permalinks. Okay, so this is a nice permalink setting to get custom structure of your permalink. It is good for search engine optimization, so we will use it. I will choose this one. This is my favorite. Okay, only this one. And then for this one, it is up to you, but usually I use this one. Okay, I will click save chains. Okay, your permalink basically it's updated. Okay. Now then let's import the dummy content. So first I will go to tools import. If it is the first time for you to working with WordPress, there are many importers. You can import your content from Blogger and others blogging uh, tools, blogging. But let's focus on the WordPress. I will click this one. Okay, because it is the first time you have to install the WordPress importer. Just click install now. Okay, now I will activate plugin and run importer. Okay, then you will need to upload the XML files. You can find the XML files under dummy data. So you will see two files. The first one is XML, the second one is JSON file. So I will choose the XML file and I will upload it. So I will choose this one. Okay, now I will upload file and import. Okay, now this is the import author section. Basically, this is the real author on the dummy content, which is us. But now you can choose your local username here then i will click download and import file attachment if it is available so i will click submit now okay all done have fun so yep i will refresh this website again Okay, you can see that now you have some additional content here. This is the dummy content from us. And then I will go to the appearance menus. Okay, let's go to the, this one is uh, the dummy menu from us. Let's go to this one, header menu, I will assign this one, and I will assign this one, I will click save. Now when I refresh this page, okay, this is your dummy header menu, and this is your dummy footer menu okay it doesn't work as expected because basically the from the header menu the sub page is missing this one so i will put the sub page 
I click add to menu. Okay, this is your sub page. I will move it to the top here, and then this is the sub menu, sub menu, and sub menu. Okay, I will click save. Okay, I will refresh this. Okay, now you will see shop and some sub menu here. Okay, then the default page is your blog page. If you want to change your home page to something else, you can go to the setting reading. On this page, you can choose the front page display. For example, if you want to see nice home page like what you see in our demo page, you can choose home. For example, I choose this one, home slider simple. I will click save change. Okay. Now, when I refresh this one, Boom. you will see our demo home page here if you want to edit this one you just need to click this one 